Hello everyone, hope you are well on this Saturday morning. We're about to get out there in the yard, in the dirt for a bit. It looks like a really nice day here in North Georgia. They're saying it's supposed to get up to 90 degrees, so layer in some humidity in that and it ought to be fun. Talk about several different things. I'm going to talk about, there's a, it was a major train disaster yesterday, last night, that is pretty much non-existent in the media right now. I'm talk about that a bit. I'm going to talk about my favorite thing, the thing that I will miss the most about shopping at Target, and uh, Costco, more news from their executives regarding the economy from the Costco perspective. And roller food. I'm going to, uh, you, you probably don't know what I mean by roller food. I will go into that uh, a little more. Uh, the first thing, though, this train disaster, I mean, this was, this is huge. Uh, this was in India. And it happened apparently yesterday, late yesterday overnight, or there, you know, I think it was about 10 p.m. their time, I think is what I remember. But uh, Mrs. Dog and I were watching some uh, reports of this uh, last night, and it is horrific. I mean, this is bad, and nearly 300 people so far uh, have been killed in this huge train wreck. Over 900 wounded so far. They're expecting those numbers to really ramp up uh, as time goes on here. But they're saying it's the world's the world's worst train disaster in over 20 years. Uh, they have rescuers are battling through the wreckage to try to find survivors. Um, this was a three train collision. This happened around the Bala Balasore district. I'm probably saying that wrong. Eastern India is where this was. Very chaotic scene. I mean, for these folks, this is SHTF. I mean, you know, uh, it looked pretty bad from this little footage that we watched. And I, I looked online er, er, earlier this morning. I was reading about it in the Daily Mail uh, website. It's non-existent, pretty much non. You had to dig for this information. Non-existent in, in the American media, that's for sure. I always check it, you know. But uh, what happened... Basically, we had two a passenger, two passenger trains collided. So it sounds like on one of the passenger trains, about 12 of their coach cars derailed. So it was so bad that it spilled over into another track. So another second passenger train collided into the wreckage that compounded the whole disaster. And then a third train hit all of that, a freight train come along and hit what was spilled over all and all of that mess. So, I mean, this sounds like just, just terrible, but it's, um, it, it just, it just looked bad. Um, like I said, the, the footage we watched and then, um, I was reading about it online a while ago. They got drone footage of it. <laughs> let's pray for that part of Let's pray for India and pray for the people affected in this. Um, I think we should do that. Target. And, and Glenn Beck was talking about this. I have to give him credit. I, I agree with what he said about, about what he will miss from, uh, shopping at Target. For me, two things really. For one, it's, it, we never shopped at Target a lot anyway. But when we did, it was a lot less crowded than, say, a Walmart, you know, so you could maneuver in there pretty freely. But the best thing, the shopping carts. They have the Toyota of shopping carts, y'all. These, these, they're robust. They're, they're thick. They don't squeak and feel like they're going to fall apart when you're, when you're uh, rolling them along. And uh, I, I'll miss that part. I, I will. I know that's kind of minor, but. I thought it was kind of funny, but it, but it's true. I will give them that. They have the best shopping carts that I've seen. Now, there may be shopping carts in other stores I've never been in that might rival it, but uh, share your thoughts. Share, share your thoughts on that. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, Costco, we'll stay with retail here. Costco, it, it, 
and I don't think I've ever, I may have walked into a Costco once. I don't have a membership. We thought about getting one. Uh, for years, there's, there has not been one close to us. Now, they just opened a Costco uh, earlier this year in Athens, which is the closest big town to us here in Georgia. So may check it out sometime. I hear their hot dogs are really good. Uh, Costco shoppers, I'm sure a lot of you are out there weigh in on that. Are their hot dogs that good? And how are their shopping carts? And what do you like about them? Okay. In general, about Costco. Now, speaking of, like I said, of Costco, their executives are, and I brushed on this a little bit in the last video, but their CFO was, was talking more about how in analyzing their data as far as over the last year, their shopping, customer shopping habits, uh, it looks that all the indications are that we are in a recession at the very least from the way it looks. Uh, customers buying habits have been changing. They're ditching beef for pork and chicken. And when they buy these items they're, and other items, they're, they're foregoing the high name brand or the, the top shelf you know, choice to the lower, uh, less expensive choices. Uh, so saying that these habits are similar to previous downturns in the economies. Um, cost of groceries have soared over the last year. Hello, we all know that. We, we feel it no matter where you shop. You see that even at Aldi and the discount places have raised their prices way up on almost everything. Uh, another thing that they noticed as far as Costco uh, data, the uh, beef, like I said, big ticket items like refrigerators, TVs, definitely way down. Things that are up, things that people are opting for, canned meat, fish, chicken, pork, and just less expensive choices. All right. So share what you think about that. Are you doing the same? I mean, I know we are trying to find ways to cut coupons, you name it, uh, because like I mentioned in the last video, especially after this last debt deal, whatever they want to call it, sugarcoat it, uh, it's going to cause a lot more inflation. They're going to print way more dollars. They're going to, it's like a, like I said, a kid in the candy store with no, basically no ceiling right now or no limit rather uh to spend money like us going out of style like they always have like they they do you know so uh we need to do whatever we can to protect ourselves uh secure your whatever wealth you have it may not be much like us we don't we get by but we don't uh secure what you do have though um, and, and that's different for everybody. You can stack cash, you can stack your gold, your silver, have a way to protect it. Um, land, so your property, keep it up the best you can, you know, uh, and even automobiles, you know, and, and, and other items, items of intrinsic value that will hold value. What can you do to keep it up, to keep it fresh, to keep it valuable? That's what we need to be doing and thinking about. Um, you know, we talk a lot about food preservation and stacking food and all that and water. Definitely. That's a given, but think about the other things you have. Also, are there things that you just don't need? You never will use. Get rid of it. Get rid of stuff. If you can sell it, great. But if not, donate it. Get rid of it. Roller food. You're like, what dog? What are you talking about? Roller food. About once every, maybe twice sometimes, a month, I will, I'm out and about in my job, you know, I'm driving around a good bit out in the community. And even if I wasn't, I would do this. But uh, we hit, uh, we'll hit a quick trip, uh, racetrack. Those are the two big gas station stores here in this area. Now, a lot of people talk about Bucky's and Wawa. No, we don't have that. I don't have that at least where we are here. Uh, hopefully at one point I will be able to visit one of those and see what all the hoopla is about. But for now, my choices is pretty much quick trip and a racetrack or either small family owned places. But, but once or twice a month, I will go in there and grab some roller food. And I typically will bring my lunch and, uh, and eat 
you know, when I'm out there running around or whatever. But I, I don't like to eat a lot because I'm on the move and I'm out in the community. And I'm, sometimes I have to dismount from the car and, and go on a little hike or something. So uh, roller food, I will run into Quick Ship or Racetrack and grab like one of their hot dogs or one of their little egg rolls, you know, on the rollers. And uh, the pizza, I've never tried the pizza. People say the pizza is awesome. It does look good, I admit. But again, I don't. I'm, I'm a little skeptic. I'm, you know, I can grab, I may try it sometime, but I don't want to get too, too full while I'm out running around while I'm working, but share your thoughts on that. Mrs. Dog is horrified when I talk about roller food, because I know it's probably terrible for me. I mean, those egg rolls, I mean, they taste good, but I know, I know I'm going to get comments about how it's like, and yeah, I grab a Coca-Cola with it usually. If it's really hot, I stick with water. I usually stick with water when I'm out there. But when you have roller food, you got to have a Coke. I know the comments are coming. I hear y'all typing. So uh, anyway, share your thoughts on that. I'm just injecting some fun things in, in the video some, when I can. But gas station food has come a long way. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it, but I am. The little things, the little things, the simple things in life. Sometimes we have to embrace it. We do. All right. I have a really good passage to share. This is from, let's see. This is from a devotional a book. Uh, this is from Psalm. Psalm chapter 31 verse 19 says, Oh, how abundant is your goodness that you have laid up for those who fear you and accomplished for those who take refuge in you in the sight of everyone. Amen. Amen. And then the, uh, the prayer down at the bottom says, Lord, forgive my ingratitude and accept my humble thanks for everything. Amen. You know, we, we serve a God that, that's capable of anything and everything, the God of the universe. And just think about the God of the universe that created the earth and the heavens is with us and loves us and is on our side. I mean, just that thought alone can be overwhelming. So keep that in mind today. Let's take care. Let's be safe. God bless you. I'll see you soon.